What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I apologize if it's kind of quiet. I'm in the library and the room that I'm in is not soundproof so we have to keep talking to a minimum. I wanted to film a quick introduction to this vlog. If you're new to the channel, my name is Eli. I'm a first year dental student at Boston University, Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. And today we're doing a vlog at the University of Detroit Mercy School of Dental Medicine, or is it School of Dental Dentistry? Well, either way, you guys said you wanted to see this vlog. I tried to make sure I got all the schools that you guys mentioned that you wanted to see. Um, we're rounding out the end of spring semester here in the first year of dental school, so I just had a quick announcement that I wanted to make. But first, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. On this channel, I make dental school vlogs as well as videos with advice for pre-dental students. Uh, when I first started this idea, I had a good, a good idea of which schools I wanted to approach or uh, people from which schools I wanted to approach to do a vlog on the channel and it's worked out well. I think every single person that has done a vlog this semester, I know that um, it can be time consuming, it can require a lot of effort, um, and I'm truly thankful for everyone that has helped me bring this idea to fruition. Now that the first semester is coming to a close and not every school has a summer session, um, it is looking like we are coming to an end with this series. There may be a few schools for the people who have summer sessions or a little bit longer of a spring semester. For those who don't know, I am finishing up my first year of dental school next week. So um, a lot of people will be done school. And obviously, as much as I do want to carry this idea on forever, I do have other directions that I want to go with my channel, and I would like to start vlogging my own days in the life again. <laughs> I'm not saying that I can't with other schools, but um, it has gotten to be very time consuming and taxing trying to find people from other schools. And to be honest, um, there, there aren't many volunteers left. <laughs> um, so, you know, I did what I can this semester trying to get people involved. I'm super thankful for everyone that has gotten involved. I uh, just wanted to let all of my subscribers know that um, you know these these may be the final episodes of this series coming up. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope I got a lot of the schools that you all wanted to see, um, and I hope that you know it did something for you. Maybe opened your eyes to some more schools that you want to apply to or got you some information about some schools that you were looking at and couldn't get information on. Um, and yeah, uh, I, I mean, I hope it helped out. Uh, and, you know, I don't really have much more to say about it besides that, but I really do hope it was helpful. And um, so, yeah, so um, enough of my rant. Like I said, today's vlog is Detroit Mercy Dental. First year student, Maya Scott, make sure you follow her on Instagram, check out her other social media, check out her YouTube channel. As she mentions in the vlog, she has one. She's not super active on it right now. Dental school can be very busy and I, you know, I don't know if everyone who is subscribed to my channel understands the work that goes into running a YouTube channel and how demanding it can be on top of trying to balance dental school is truly not something that a lot of people can do. Um, I'm thankful that I have learned how to manage my time and been able to stay consistent and I'm thankful for everyone who has supported me in this endeavor. Um, it's truly a lot more work than a lot of people may think or realize watching my channel. Um, and I'm just, I'm super thankful for everyone that has stuck by me and gave kind words of encouragement and commented under my videos and all that other stuff. But, you know, I'm rambling. We can save all that for another video. Without further ado, let's get into a day in the life at Detroit Mercy Dental featuring Maya Scott. Thanks, Maya, for doing this vlog, and I hope you all enjoy. Last thing before we start the vlog, don't forget, 
Um, in my last video, I told you guys all about the Magic Mind drink that I was trying. I am still drinking Magic Mind. Um, and you can use my code ELIAS20 if you want to try it out. You can get a discount. The link and the code will be in the description of this video. And yeah, this is just a shameless plug real quick. Now let's get into the vlog. I'll see you all in the next video. Enjoy watching Maya's Day in the Life. the move hey how are y'all my name is Maya um, I'm a D1 at the University of Detroit Mercy School of Dentistry and today I'm just gonna be bringing y'all along with me showing you a typical day um, at school it wouldn't be a typical day if I wasn't just a little bit late but you know we're doing the best we can um, so today in sim lab we just have like a bit of a practice session. Um, we have CSAs coming up, which um, I think stands for like comprehensive something. I don't know. It's like a competency, but they're just calling it something else. Um, yeah, we have a our CSAs coming up next week and then we'll be done with um, our first year of Sim Lab. And um, yeah, so today we're just having a practice session for that, nothing too crazy. And then um, I don't have any like lectures or anything today, but I do, ooh, can you tell I don't have a car stand? Um, I do have an exam coming up on Friday and a case discussion tomorrow. So I do need to study for that. And then um, what I like to do after classes at the end of the day is like work out and I like to go to um, a local boxing gym. So I'll probably oh. don't film and drive, um, but I'll probably show y'all that. And yeah, that's just a little summary of my day. So I will check back in once I make it to the sim lab. Yes. I'm excited. <laughs> so this is my station, station number 59. She always will. This is Ralph. <laughs> Very yeah. nice. Very he has nice. A yep, so she's just gonna be a good old dock and feel this today. Yeah. Hopefully. Nice. Here, do you wanna watch it? <laughs> We're done for the day. <laughs> Bye. They're asking you to take over if you want to come to me. Um, and I was going to do it, but then I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, we're fancy. Uh, please. Rachel, I've been pretending like I'm Canadian for two weeks now. What? You're 
pretending you're Canadian? Yeah. Why? Okay, so as you saw, we are finished with SimLab. My friends and I were just about to head over to a coffee shop for a couple hours and um, just get a little bit of work done because like I said earlier, we do have an exam coming up on Friday. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to take a little bit of time and explain to you guys um, what it is that I like about Detroit Mercy School of Dentistry. Um, I also wanted to explain my background a little bit. So I'll just start by telling you guys that I am from Texas. So living in Michigan has been a little bit of an adjustment. It's definitely, it has been a little bit of an adjustment. It's definitely a lot different than um, what I'm used to in Texas, as far as like the weather and just, I mean, everything, literally in a different part of the country. Um, I went to undergrad at Sam Houston State University. It is a little bit of a smaller college, just an hour north of Houston, where I majored in uh, biology with a minor in health. So yeah, that is a little bit about me. And as far as school goes, um, I'll say that one thing or a few things that I really like about um, University of Detroit Mercy would be the hands-on experience that we get. Um, I know personally that we started doing um, preps and fillings and um, different things like that way ahead of what I saw most other people at other schools doing. So at this point we've been, you know, prepping and filling for a while now. We've gotten to try a little bit of endo. Um, we've done impressions we've also got to do a little bit of digital dentistry which I think is really important and really cool since that's really the direction that dentistry is heading in anyway so that is probably my favorite thing and then um, I may be a little bit biased about this or people may not agree with me but I really like our um, biomedical sciences curriculum at first I thought it was kind of overkill we so to explain a little bit, we don't have like separate classes for the most part. Like everything is kind of integrated into one and we just have modules within one big class. And so we have um, like we, we did a cardiac module. Um, we did a module that like right now we're doing lymphatics, I think. I don't know. But basically <laughs> we have different modules and um like I said, it seemed kind of like overkill at first, like way too much work, but I don't know. Our, our D1 year is almost over and I feel like I can appreciate how much we've learned and um, how great our professors are. So I really, really like that as well. So yeah, that is pretty much a little bit about me and a little bit about the school. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to message me on Instagram. Um, I think Eli is going to put my handle down below, but it's um, at Maya the Supreme. And then I also, I do have a YouTube channel. I just am not very active on it, but eventually I will be. So you can subscribe to me there if you want to see more because there will be more content coming. But yeah, feel free to ask me questions. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and head to the coffee shop and maybe go to boxing later i still don't know um but yeah we'll see okay lunch time okay. <laughs> hi my name is rachel <laughs> hi my name is raven and i chose detroit mercy dental because i heard raven was going there yeah and they let me in so i told them to let her in just kidding i met raven in school and we're besties now and I'm from Canada. And I'm a little Canadian, eh? No, that's Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we're at the undergrad campus. This is where Raven went. <laughs> Me and Kayla have never been here. First time um, for everything. It's nice, actually. Like I said, that coffee shop closed at three. So now we're moving to the next location.
Okay guys, it is currently 11.01 p.m. and I am finally back at home. Um, we basically just studied for the rest of the time. Um, I still have a little bit of work to do, so I'll still be up for a little bit. Uh, I didn't get a chance to go to boxing, but I will still um, include some footage for you guys just to see what it's like when I do go. It's a really great stress reliever. It's really fun, builds a lot of strength. It's also like a form of learning self-defense. So I try to go at least three times a week and it's just for an hour and I feel like it's worth it. Like no matter what, I try to go. Um, so yeah, I'll try to include some footage of that. I also just wanted to show you guys real quick um, what my typical week looks like. I like to try to make a schedule just so I can kind of get a gauge on how everything is going to be. Okay, so here is my schedule that I make in excel um it goes from 7 30 a.m to 2 a.m i don't always stay up till 2 a.m and i don't always wake up at 7 30 so just beware of that but uh this was today uh, let's see yeah this was today wednesday so i had sim lab and then i was preparing for the case discussion didn't get to go to boxing and then basically i'm just studying for um, my test that I have on Friday. So yeah, this just is kind of a good way to see everything. Like I look at this and I immediately know that I have three things that are important this week that I got to make sure that I, um, you know, get done. And then I can see the days that I'm planning on working out. Like it's just highly, I highly recommend doing this. It's really helped a lot. And then these other tabs are just like how I keep up with exams and um, prepping and stuff like that. But yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you have any questions or anything, um, please feel free to message me on Instagram. I love helping out uh, pre-dents because I definitely know how it feels to be on the other side. And I feel like it's a tough struggle that not everybody understands but my best advice that I can give you guys is to just don't be afraid to be you don't get too caught up in the numbers like DAT scores GPAs and stuff like that I feel like as long as you're your most authentic self and you're able to just show how bad you want this how bad you've been working for this how good of a person you are that's definitely going to show through and it's going to shine brighter than your numbers. Um, I don't have the best stats. Like I, I got like a a 19 on the DAT. I don't have like an amazing GPA, but here I am finishing up my first year of school. So just don't get too bogged down. Don't look at everyone else's score that you see like in those Facebook groups and stuff. Just be your best self and just remind yourself it's not all about numbers. And then once you get in school, none of that stuff even matters. Nobody cares what you got on the DAT. Nobody cares what your GPA in undergrad was. Um, so yeah, keep your heads up. I wish you guys the best of luck. And then finally, I just want to thank Eli for giving me the opportunity to show you guys what it's like here at Detroit Mercy Dental. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got some good insight of what it's like here. But um yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.